Hello everybody, Big Planes here. In this video, I'm going to be giving you guys a complete tour of all of my custom LEGO passenger plane aircraft. So let's dive right into it. We're going to start our tour over here with the Pan Am 707-120. This was one of the earliest 707 models to ever take to the skies. You could tell because of the older turbo jet engines mounted under the wings and the older wing design that was replaced later with 707 variants. This model does feature a full interior, has a cockpit and everything, the landing gear retracts. I will put pictures up on the screen for you right now so you can see all that cool stuff in action. This was a model that I've wanted to build for a very, very long time. And yeah, I'm glad I was finally able to do it. I built this around the summertime of last year and it's just sort of been hanging around in my collection ever since. Directly next to the 707 is my custom Lego Concorde. Of course, this thing has all the features you would expect in a LEGO Concorde, including a full interior, functioning undercarriage, light up afterburners, and even the droop snoop. I really wanted to get this one built into it because this was one of the most iconic features of the Concorde, and I actually think it turned out pretty well. The full video should be linked in the video description if you want to see it. To the very right of Concorde, we start moving into some of the much larger passenger plane models. This is my custom LEGO Norwegian Airlines 787-800 model. Hoping Norwegian Airlines does not go bankrupt in the coming weeks and months here. This was built two years ago. Like almost all of my models, this plane does feature a full interior, functioning undercarriage, and even spinning jet engines. No, the thing doesn't fly, but the fan does spin, so it has a little bit more realism in it. So, now that we move past the 787, this is one of my favorites, obviously. We move over here to a plane that I don't think anybody's ever seen before. It's new on the channel. This is my Cessna 172, I believe. It may be a 152. I don't really remember, but this is a new model and it is not up on the channel yet. I'm just giving you guys a quick sneak peek of it. And I'm thinking about doing a tutorial for this one. So if you wanna see that, then leave it in the comment section below and just ask for a Cessna tutorial. After we move past the tiny little Cessna, we move to the largest plane in my collection. This is my custom LEGO Air Force One 747. Yes, this thing is minifigure scale, and yes, it is over six feet. In case you didn't believe me, here's the tape measure to prove that this thing is over six feet in length. Of course, there is an entire video and time-lapse video dedicated to this plane, so I'm not gonna go into super intense detail right now, but I can tell you that this thing does have a full interior, functioning jet engines, similar to those on the 787, and yes, it can hold itself up without any glue or internal metal supports. This is, to date, the largest plane I have ever built, and I do plan on building one that's larger one day, but this one holds the title for now. After we move past the absolutely ginormous Air Force One, we can see a couple of smaller planes hiding right behind it. These are my two Southwest Airlines planes. The one on the left is a Southwest Airlines 727-200. Yes, these things did exist. They flew back in the 80s while Southwest was still operating 727s. Directly next to that is the most modern of the two aircraft. This is my 737-800NG in the Southwest Airlines livery. This is up on LEGO Ideas and is trying to get to 10,000 supporters so it can be considered to be a set. I will leave a link in the description below if you want to go support this model on LEGO Ideas if you want to help it get to 10,000 supporters and possibly become a set. This model even has a little ground crew that are loading some luggage into the cargo hold. In the Southwest fleet, some 737-800s along with a few 700s were fitted with the split scimitar winglets. This model of course features a full interior, functioning flaps, and the engines do spin just like those on the 747 and the 787. Trying to get the stickers on this thing was obviously a colossal pain, but I think they turned out pretty well. Just like all my other models, this plane does have a completely dedicated video for it. If you want to go check that out, it will be in the video suggestions. The next airplane is also a 737 and is also on LEGO Ideas. This is my Lufthansa 737-500 model. This one has been on LEGO Ideas for a couple years now and it's about at 5,000 supporters or thereabouts. I will also leave a link in the video description to this if you want to go support it on LEGO Ideas. This is not my best 737 model, but I did pull it out of storage just so you guys can see it in this video. 
currently the only airplane sitting over here on the 1950s table is the L1049 Super Constellation in the TWA Airlines livery. This thing of course has a full interior functioning undercarriage and all sorts of other really cool things. I will admit the video for this thing is quite outdated and I have since completely overhauled the wing and interior design. Hopefully though, it will be getting another airplane over here pretty soon here. When I build the DC-6 in the American Airlines livery, it's going to be in completely metallic silver. More to come on this project very soon. Well, that's about it for this video. I have covered all of my current passenger planes in this room, starting from the 707 to Concorde all the way over to the L-1049. Now, I do plan on building a couple more very large passenger planes in the near future, but in terms of right now, this is everything I've gotten here, and that's it for this video. I would like to thank my patrons over on Patreon. I'm sorry I didn't put you guys in the beginning of the video here, but I just wanted to dive right into the airplanes. So yes, thank you to everybody on Patreon who supports the channel, and it really does mean a lot to me. So that's all I really have for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it, and I will update you guys as I build more passenger planes. That's it for this one, and bye for now.